lady is Sharon O'Neill and the album is called Foreign Affairs, referring to a New Zealander living in Australia and recording in America. She's a world-class singer, a fine songwriter and a great keyboard player. And like Christina Afflett, Sharon is a former Countdown Poll winner and she was named Best Female Vocalists three years in a row in New Zealand. Sharon's musical style is middle of the rock rather than new wave and musicians she recently recorded with include Tom Scott and two former members of the Eagles. The video clip for her latest song caused a bit of a stir. While the song Maxine can be played on the radio, the video is finally given an AO rating, which means it can't be shown on Countdown. Well, I used to notice this particular girl that we can call Maxine for now, um, on her corner in King's Cross in Sydney, very often when I used to pass by. And, and I suppose from a woman's point of view, it disturbed me a little bit. And um, over a period of time, I decided, well, I'll, I'll put some of my thoughts together and some of what I'm pretty sure she's going through and develop it into a song. Well, what's the moral of the song? Um, it's really just an objective point of view of that situation that she was in. Um, morally, there was no reason for writing it morally. It has become that sort of an issue because of the problem we're having with the film clip at the moment. And how do you feel about the film clip being banned? Very disappointed. Um, for two reasons, really. One, in that it's, it's very necessary to have a film clip these days um, in conjunction with releasing a single. Uh, the other reason why is I think it's a shame that um, young people can't get to see it to, to be exposed to that sort of thing through uh, the entertainment medium. But it's not glossing around the issue at all, it's not glamorising it. Um, I think if, if young people were to see it, they would be very much deterred by that kind of lifestyle, and they're the ones that are leaving school and having difficulty getting jobs. They're going to be very much exposed to that situation. Um, so it's a shame in that sense. I mean, it's not glamorised, and uh, it's not just publicising it. You know, there, there's a message there and I, I think it's important that it should get across.